You're surrounded by materials everywhere you look. And in the future, we're asking those materials to do even more. And so we need to be able to have tools that allow us to handle that complexity. If you think about the traditional uh, method of materials development, it's slow, it's laborious, and you, you, you try everything you can think of. That's not the way we want to go forward. We're at the early stages of a paradigm change. Digital chemistry allows one to look at a large number of hypotheses very quickly and efficiently, and that de-risks projects. At Schrodinger, we use physics-based simulations. We've been developing those tools for 30 years, as long as I've been a material scientist. It's also about informatics and machine learning or AI. It's the combination of all three of these that really is valuable. It enables the material scientists to explore a design space that's much broader than ever before. You're no longer working on a chalkboard or a piece of paper. Now you have digital collaboration tools that allow everyone on the team to instantly see the same information. This accelerates innovation and collaboration.